The KUGB and the karate world in general were shocked when in early 2003 the death of Sensi Inouye was announced. Sensi became ill in November 2002 and on the advice of his doctor returned to Japan for treatment. Unfortunately this was not successful and he passed away on the 29th of March 2003. Sensi first arrived in Britain in 1965 when together with Sensi Kasi, Kanazawa and Shirai he toured Europe staging a series of demonstrations to promote Shotokan Karate. It was at the demonstration in Liverpool that Sensi first came into contact with the Red Triangle Karate Club who assisted in the demonstration. Andy Sherry describes those early days. I first met Sensi in order in 1965 when he, Sensi's Kasi, Kanazawa and Shirai came to Liverpool to do a demonstration. We at the Red Triangle were asked to assist in the demo which was held at St George's Hall in the city centre. There was a big crowd on the night and not many people had seen karate in those days and everyone was fascinated by the exotic kicks and the wood breaking. In fact I've still got a piece of the wood that was used. We were very, very impressed by Sensi in order, so much so that we asked him there and then would he come to live in Liverpool and teach us, and to our amazement he said yes. So we got him a flat in Percy Street near to the city centre, it was right behind the big Anglican Cathedral, and uh, I remember we used to give him £20 a week, and also 20 silver shillings, which he used for the gas and electricity meters, and I think he was very happy there. As well as training with Sensi in the dojo in the evenings, we also used to train with them at Sefton Park in the mornings and sometimes we were there at 6 o'clock and uh, Sensi used to love training in the park and he'd do a combination of teaching and training at the same time and it was a, a time of great development for us and one of the things that I'll be eternally grateful to him for. Since he was living in Liverpool, we used to do many things to promote the dojo. And here is some very early footage of Sensi, a 
following a demonstration at a garden fete in Wavesley Park. One of my great early memories of Sensi was when he graded me and fellow Red Triangle member Joe Charles into showdown. That was in February 1966 and it was a really memorable and exciting time for us. I remember the local newspaper, the Liverpool Echo, came down and took photographs and published an article. And uh, it really boosted the dojo in a big way. I was very privileged to have known Sensi in order for close on 30 years. I first met him when he came here to the Red Triangle Dojo in the very early 70s. I'd never actually seen him before, but those people that had seen him or trained with him always spoke of his tremendous power and spirited style when he was in the dojo. And he certainly didn't disappoint. Even after all these years, I can remember that day clearly. I would always look forward to the squad training sessions under Sensei Emoida. He would always expect 100% from his students, and he would get 100%. Even when you felt you couldn't give any more when he was present, you'd always give that little bit extra. Despite Sensi's rather stern and formidable exterior, he was always the first to break into a smile if things didn't quite go according to plan. When I was competing, my parents used to come along to support me, and Sensi got to know them both well. He especially got to know my mum very well. They used to have these long conversations and I'm really not quite sure how much they could understand one another, but they did seem to get on like a house on fire. During the squad training sessions, Sensi would often take the kata competitors to one side for more individual tuition. This was most enjoyable, he really did have a great way of getting his point across.
Sensei Anoida was more than a karate instructor to me. In fact, he was a very good friend. He helped me both inside and outside of the dojo. And I miss him greatly. I first met Sensei Anoida uh, when I was quite a, a low grade uh, on, a, on a, a, a squad training uh, weekend. And, uh, just watching him, just moving about, just absolutely freaked me out, you know, I'd never seen him training before and uh, I just couldn't believe how good he was, you know. Uh, I wasn't in the KGB at the time uh, and th th the main reason for me joining uh, the KGB was the fact that Sensi was such a good teacher. Uh, at the time, you know, the, people trained with different instructors and, uh, well, he was the one who stood out. I remember one time in a, in a competition, I think it was in Japan, um, I'd been hit in the chest and I was, I was really uh, badly injured. And uh, the doctor said to me, I, I, I don't suggest that you fight anymore today. Anyway, we had a draw and uh, we needed somebody to go out and fight the decider. And Sensi came up to me and just gave me that look and said, are you going to go out? And I went, well, yeah. So I went out there and, you know, uh, we, we, we got a really good result. And I don't think anybody else could have sort of uh, uh, just got me uh, f um, psychologically up to those levels. I owe a lot to him. Uh, I'll miss him. The following clips show Sensi's active involvement in all aspects of life in the KGB and clearly show his warm, friendly and sincere personality. How do you feel that the England team has done? That you are the special trainer for these people? Oh yes. You know already, but you uh, can say we have a great history from start to until now. We are only, you know, top level. But unfortunately, today is not so much, you know, successful. But even at that, Frank Brannan won for individual kata and uh, team kumite for junior win won but also senior team you know you could fight very good and, you know semi-final i'm very very successful uh, i'm satisfied yes satisfied. yes okay sensei have you any advice for the future for people in europe for Ye karate yes because uh i'll say one thing you know it's very important it's 
karate match is uh, not just you know uh, sports karate. We must don't forget it traditional martial art karate. This is Shotokan karate. When you first met Sensei Anoita? Uh, at the first time I met at the West Germany, mm. that one, and uh, um, you know, like a pen friend mm. with my friend, uh, my husband, and uh, myself. Yeah. From, from me being on the squad, he was a very inspirational person. Everybody on the squad was inspired by him. Mm. And they loved him very much. Did, mm. he, did he know that they cared so much about him? Or did he think that he was just a teacher? Oh, uh, well, I think they loved my husband. Mm -hmm. Yes. And my husband loved, uh, or they, he trusted to them very much. Yes. Like, really. Did like a good relationship, I think, yeah. Did he, did he speak to you about how he felt about the KUGB? It was very much his organisation. We all loved him very much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, well, uh, as you know, Japanese man or a Japanese husband uh, well, at home, uh, he doesn't s uh, talk much about the, his business. Mm. So I don't know exactly about the KUGB, but uh, you know, a uh, long time we know each other and uh, like a family. Mm. For the first time, you know, uh, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Snader, you know, <laughs> and uh, also Andy or Bob or uh, Terry or many, many other mm. members. So, um, do you remember when we used to come and stay? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, 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 that's right. Can I you remember. Uh, well, uh, I cook the Japanese food, and they, well, Andy or uh, Terry is uh, cleaning the, <laughs> uh, well, and uh, wash dish, uh, washing up, we uh, Bob or many, many things they could help, but they are still at home for uh, training, like a summer camp. Mm. Uh, yes, uh, good memories. And when many years ago he was when Sensei Nakayama died. Uh, yes. Um, there was talk of maybe Sensei Inoida going back to uh, uh, Japan. Yes. Yeah. And he wanted to stay. He uh -huh. always said he wanted uh, yes. to stay. Yes. Yes. Why do you think that was? Well, he loved England. Uh, he uh, and also he loved KUGB, you know, um, or oh, uh, karate. He loved karate, so he he doesn't want to return mm. home. He think he his life is all his life in England. Yes, yes. he really loved uh, England too. Yeah. yeah. So when he was uh, sick and in the hospital. He really wanted to return to England always, he said that, before he passed away. Mm, yes, he missed it very yeah, much. Still them. We, still, we still feel him. I, I think, think we still, you know, still very much care about him. Mm, I think um, so too. And I know, you know, Andy and Dad want mm. to, you know, Andy and my father want to make sure that we're still practicing mm. in order for us. Mm. Yes, please the keep continuing. Yeah. The way yeah. he taught us. Yes. The first time I met Sensei Inouye, I think it was a purple belt, second purple belt, and he impressed me very, very much. His status, his manner, and everything, and especially I got a lasting impression because I just taken over from this, being the secretary at the club I was at at the time, the Chokan Karate Club, and we insisted on having Sensei Inouye up instead of sending Kato up. So I says to him, I wrote a letter to him saying, if you're going to send Kata, send nobody. We must have annoyed her. So after training, when we went for a light refreshment after, since he sat there with his arms folded saying, who is this Bob Rhodes? <laughs> of course I hid in the corner. <laughs> but he was quite all right about it. Since he annoyed her as an instructor, he gave me great, he had a great charisma. 
everything he did was with power and I'm a stocky person so I could relate to his uh, techniques and action uh, and he had a very sort of controlled manner over people if he said something you would do it uh, and if you didn't well God help you um, as a person uh, I've known Sensi for many and many years uh, I've had an up and down life personally um, in relationships and such and Sensi's always been there because he understands what goes on in life and uh, is there to have a shoulder and speak to you about things not just about karate but about your general life as well and he is a good supporter in that way he has been to me the memories of sensei well the karate side i've mentioned who's a very inspiring person he's like a father to me and it's a great loss but one memory as far as karate was concerned in training was uh, a lot of times on the squad and at my own dojo he used to get me out and demonstrate and you could guarantee that before he demonstrated he would say sorry Bob and then hit me <laughs> uh, and the other part was that um, he just had a great sense of humour and uh, he was willing to be one of the boys when you went out and had um, a social drink and uh, that was another fine part about him and uh, he'll be missed I miss him One of Sensi's proudest moments was when the KUGB British team defeated the JKA Japanese team in the final of the 1990 World Shotokan Championships. There were some tremendous matches and shown next are some clips of this exciting event.
Casey is clearly the right of the result. I first saw Sensi Inouye when he came to Liverpool together with Sensi, Kase, Kanzawa and Shirai to do a demonstration. It was a fantastic demonstration and all, the, all these, ins these instructors were equally impressive. Sensi Inouye stayed in Liverpool to teach. Sensi Kanzawa went to London, Kase went to France and Sensi Shirai went to Italy where some of them still are. I first met Sensi in order when I went to Liverpool to ask him to come and teach at St. Helens, a club that I ran, and he came every weekend to teach. Most people would talk about Sensi as the Shotokan Tiger, the awesome Karateka, the great instructor, and the impressive leader. But I want to talk about Sensi the person, or Sensi the man. Sensi had a great zest for life. And when, when he used to teach at the St. Helens Club at weekends, we used to go for a drink on a Saturday night after training. And after the drink, we used to go to the fish and chip shop. And Sensi invariably bought a portion of fish and chips and mushy peas for my wife. And when we got home, he always woke her, sometimes after midnight, to eat her fish and chips. He used to stay at my house these weekends and he used to take my children for walks to the betting shop. Since he had a great sense of humor and he loved jokes, he sometimes didn't understand the British sense of humor and the jokes had to be explained to him. And invariably the explanations were funnier than the jokes themselves. I always enjoyed Sensei's company, as did everybody who knew him. I was honored to be the best man at his wedding. And my wife and I were godfather and godmother to his son, whose name incidentally was Charles Dysakey. We went to many places around the world together. And we went from Moscow to Los Angeles. In Los Angeles, since he was always the first to suggest going to Disneyland. And he was always first on the rides and all the rides, ranging from It's a Small World to Space Mountain. In fact, we all recorded under the boardwalk in Los Angeles I believe a copy of it is still in existence somewhere. Perhaps it will be played when this, when this uh, video has been completed. He had a great influence on my family and myself. I don't think we should grieve for Sensei in order. I think we should take pleasure in the fact that we knew him. It has been an honor to have known him all these years. And I miss him. And I'm sure that Karateka all over the world miss him sorely as well. And shown next is footage of Sensi with the team at the World Championships in the Budokan Stadium in Tokyo in 1975.
sightseeing at the temples in Nikko after the tournament. Sensi was never happier than when working with the KGB squad, which he did throughout his life. He visited Liverpool at least six times a year to teach the senior squad and to preside over the KUGB technical meetings. He is seen here at the Red Triangle Dojo during squad training.
起来，哎，这本没人杀。In order to sense he was a paradox, everyone, people who didn't know him thought he was so stern and strict, which he was. Um, that's the way he saw Karan, that's the way he did it, but his his personality wasn't like that. He was a very kind, considerate and, and a gentleman. Um, I only ever sparred with him, freestyled with him once. Um, my senior, it was down at the Boudicquai in London, that my senior Andy Sherry uh, was sparring with him since he swept both his legs from under him and that was Andy finished, he couldn't get up. And um, I started throwing kicks at him, at him uh, and I'd, uh, he roundhouse kicked me in the nose, only a pull, but uh, dropped me and, and that was enough. And he, I don't think he even bothered with uh, with Bob. And um, you know, ignored us, that's it, no sentiment. But we all went to the movies that night, we were staying down in London with him, and uh, he kept leaning over, you okay, you okay? And uh, fussing over me like a, you know, he, he wasn't a, an order sense he'd get really angry, really quickly, um, if something, you, you knew he was annoyed, he wasn't, um, he didn't keep it, um, it, you know, he wasn't inscrutable. But his neck would be, be shouting ball, but then five minutes after that it'd be over um, and he'd back to himself he had a he had a terrific personality I've got 
memories of the. Uh, I have a lifetime of of, uh, of memories of Anoida Sensei. Uh, he was much more. I always feel he was much more than a Sensei to me. He was almost almost like my father. Um, for the best part of my adult life, from the age of I'd say seventeen till. Uh, uh, until he died, it, and, and, uh, I was 54, 55 when he died. Um, I've got a lifetime of memories of him, um, all fond memories um, and very special memories. I, I know the sense he used to he used to give us such, such tremendous spirit. I mean, uh, that's always the outstanding thing about Sensi. But I always wanted to be like him. Um, he was like my hero. I wanted to be able to do karate like him, as strong and as powerful and as have the same passion that he did. Um, never ever got anywhere near that level, but that's what I always was trying to attain to. Um, I've trained with many, many uh, good teachers, terrific teachers who have given me a lot, but not ever like an Oda Sensei. Uh, he was a very special man. When Sensei died, it was uh, I was that disheartened by it. To, to be honest, I, I felt like finishing karate. I, I had no no spirit left in it. And, and whilst I know that's a silly thing, and it's not at all what he would have wanted, um, and I, I am still continuing karate, um, as is my senior Andy Sherry and my colleagues Bob Point and Frank Brennan and all those. But I, I have to say, karate will never. Karate will never be the same for me, um, but I was privileged to have, have uh, to have been able to to have been so close to him and and, and to have trained and uh, to have trained under him for that long. Um, he was a very special man. I miss him. Sensi annoyed he was always positive and full of fun. An example of this is shown next when he and the KGB's British team recorded the following in Los Angeles in the 1980s. Oh, when the sun beats down and burns the tide upon the roof And you when your shoe gets so hot you wish your tired feet were by a roof And then the down by the sea With my baby, where I'll be under the boardwalk, out of the sun, under the boardwalk, we'll be having some fun. Under the boardwalk, we'll be falling in love. Under the boardwalk, we'll be falling in love. Under the boardwalk, boardwalk. Since he wrote to me one day and told me that he was ill and was returning to Japan for treatment. I was very shocked at this as he'd always been so healthy throughout his life and I was absolutely stunned when I learned that he had died. Although I miss Sensi so very much, I think it's important that we celebrate his great life and give thanks for the fabulous legacy that he has left us all. Although Sensi was taken from us before his time, he led a full, active and happy life. He was respected and loved by his students and we in the KUGB celebrate his life and are proud that he was our chief instructor. We are deeply indebted to his lifelong dedication to the KUGB and honour him as one of the world's great karate masters.